Right in here, if you will, please. Why don't you take off your coat? You'll be sitting in that chair and just uh, roll up your left sleeve up above the elbow, please. Now, I just want you to relax and uh, don't be intimidated by any of this wiring and what have you. That's fine. They ought to be starting right about now. Oh, and finished pretty damn quick. Thanks. Goodbye, West Parmalee. I'll begin with a few simple questions to establish a pattern on you, and you'll answer with a yes or no only, please. All right. Is today Tuesday? Are we in New York City? No. Are there five people in this room? No. I want you to lie to me by answering yes to the following questions. Are there five people in this room? Yes. Are you presently standing? Yes. truth now. Are you standing? No. Did you ever wildcat for oil in Odessa, Texas? Yeah. Did you go to South America in 1981? Yeah. there with a Mr. Marvin P., also known as Punk Anderson. Yeah. Were you in a helicopter accident there in 1984? No. Were you in a helicopter accident there in 1981? Yeah. hospitalized there at the St. Francis Hospital? Yeah. Are you the person John Ross Ewing Sr., also known as Jack? Yes. Are you Jack Ewing? Yes, I am. In JR's office. Thank you. Uh, Hart, you got the results of the test? I've got them, boys. But you're not going to like them. You're not telling us he passed that thing. This is crazy. It is the opinion of the examiner, our examiner, that the subject he tested is indeed Jock Ewing. Then get another test. Boy, is this the best man in the country? Or what the hell is going on? I... I'm awful sorry. Well, you gotta say more than that. Well, understand, a polygraph has no legal basis. I mean, obviously, Wes Parmalee does not now automatically become your daddy just because he passed the test. You're damn right he's not. But you're in serious trouble. I warned you about this. For crying out loud, Harv. You're new daddy. My personal feelings have nothing to do with this. I have to deal in facts. The facts say the man is Jock Ewing. Thank you, Harv. Uh, this uh, is a private conversation, sir. Well, I don't want to disturb it. I just came in for a last look around, saying goodbye to the place. Uh, that'd be good news, you're leaving town and uh, putting an end to this farce. And smart of you, too, because you are going to be buried under a ton of litigation. Not leaving town, hell no. I got a call from Jeremy Wendell. He's offering to buy Ewing oil from me. I might just take him up on it. 